Hey folks, Joseph A. Sabora here. And boy, I've seen some stupid gross out films like this one. And trust me, it's even worse. But I'll tell you one thing. I'm just glad that I only saw it for free. If everybody was very familiar with the trading card game known as Garbage Pill Kids, it was supposed to be a parody of the Cabbage Patch Kids back in the 80s. It was funny then, as it turned out, and it probably still is very popular as far as I'm concerned, and I remember how popular it really was, that all of a sudden the studio Atlantic Releasing Corporation, studio behind Team Wolf and Valley Girl and, and so many titles out there, decided to, to produce and greenlit this piece of garbage of a film known as the Garbage Pill Kids movie. And what a disaster this film turned out to be once it was made because watching this movie kind of makes it more gross out than movies like Monkey Bone, Freddy Got Fingered, and so many others. That's all I had to say. Anyway, it stars Anthony Newley, Magazine Aston, the brother of Sean Aston, and of course he was on The Facts of Life. Yeah. And Katie Barberi, who went on to do Telemundo soap operas. There's Ron McLaughlin, JP Amateur, Majority Grew, Debbie Lee Carrington, and Kevin Thompson. As the film opens somewhere in outer space, what seems to be a giant trash can decided to land up to Earth into a store that's run by their master who owns the shop and somehow discovers the seven disgusting kids known as the Garbage Pill Kids. But meanwhile, a kid named Dodger, played by Magazine Aston, has been chased by four 80s-style Spandex wearing um, bullies decided to chase him around by pushing him into the mud and steal his, all of his money until he decided to go to the shop and once again meets his master known as Captain Manzini who was played by Anthony Newley and also had discovered the seven disgusting kids in the shop in the giant trash can which he actually compares it to the Pandora box and here are the garbage pill kids known as Valerie Bomet, Eli Gator, Foul Phil, Nat Nerd, Winnie Winston, Messy Tessie, and of course Greaser Greg and they're actually here to discover what was it like on earth and Captain Mazzini decided to give them all the rules that they had to obey in order to stay in the places that they are. Although they basically think that life is funny without following any stupid regulations, which becomes even a bigger conflict. On the other hand, Dodger decided to hang out with Tangerine, who was one of the bullies, and they decided to, to make a deal with each other to to not only fall in love, but also to make a fashion statements in order for her to start her own fashion show. Which of course the Garbage Pill Kids actually helped Dodger out in making all these clothes to sell them for the show. But it leads to even bigger problems as Juice, the leader of the pack, decided to collect all the money and bullying for Dodger. But for the Garbage Pill Kids though, since they couldn't do anything outside of the shop, they decided to go out to see a movie such as the Free Stooges 
And of course they went to a bar, which eventually becomes a bigger bar fight than ever before. And pretty lame one too, at that. And then they discovered that there was actually a place known as Stayed Home for the Ugly. Which is like a jail, or in some cases, an animal shelter. A what were they thinking when they wrote this crap? So of course they end up being stuck in that place which eventually they got stuck with almost other people out there which are not even considered to be ugly. I mean I can't believe they managed to get a Will Out Yankee Bick look alike. And Santa Claus. Oh, this was so dumb. Once they finally got out of there, they went into the fashion show which creates even more chaos on as they decided to do what they do best, start farting in front of the entire audience, vomiting almost everybody, and also ripping off their clothes. Not to mention a huge battle fight between Dodger and Juice. And boy, for a kid like Dodger, he can really kick his ass really hard. Which leads to the problem that Dodger and Tangerine couldn't get along after that moment. So they broke up. And the Garbage Quill kids definitely went to their planet from where they belong. That was pretty much it. Because this movie is a complete disaster. It's definitely billed as one of the worst movies ever made in 1987 that totally makes Ishtar look like a turkey and boy I sure said it mildly on this one and even that though they even had the worst music I've ever heard in a movie like this it was and thank god it was only one song but it's like a bad crossover between the Smurfs and Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs the Disney version that is it was so badly done, I couldn't believe it. And it was poorly written too with the lyrics. And I'll tell you this though, looking at the costumes and puppetry, how they design all of these characters, were done very poorly. They're so scary looking and very creepy that I think it would pretty much scared almost half of the kids who are under that age of five. Because I'm sure that pretty much all the kids who may have seen this movie, maybe at that time, were very frightening because of how gross out and how scary looking they looked. It was just so unnerving to sift through this. And it really was. I didn't like this movie at all. I think I only saw it once when I was a kid and I think I didn't remember it after that until I finally saw it on Netflix for the first time. Oh, this was terrible. I say, if for those who may have bought this DVD, or even if they wanted to, or which I, I highly unlikely, I say buy the film and throw it into the garbage pail where it deserves to be sent to the trash. Because I can't believe this movie had to be made. It's a disaster waiting to happen. So anyway, I give the Garbage Pill Kids movie zero stars. I'm Joseph A. Sabora, and I'll see you later. Bye.